good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though what i want to go over has to do with the black community and what i think is the real problem within their community on the whole and does this have to do with politics yes but i have a different opinion than most people who have talked about this let us let us do a thought experiment really quick so I can bring you to speed on where I stand with this. So, within politics, things are... Even though everyone wants to claim that every person is different or unique, everyone can typically be typecast to where they belong politically, especially in today's terms. Uh, for some weak sauce thought experiment to uh, level the ground, when I say hair dye, what political alignment do you immediately go to? Probably liberal or leftist, depending on how you see the opposition. And let us dab into another weak sauce here. When I say unrevealing clothing, what is your immediate thought on where that lands in the political sphere? Probably conservative or far right. And once again, depending on how you see the opposition. Are you calling the black community too typecast and that's their problem? Well, yes and no. Let me dive into a stronger source of substance in this. And what I mean to point out here is how the oppositions are more vivid than confusing on the generalities. Uh, take a look at the white community. When I say white man, what political alignment do you immediately suspect? Probably conservative. And when I say white woman, you'll probably immediately suspect that she's a liberal. Whereas, I don't feel as confident with saying the same thing for the black community. So are you calling diversity a problem? Yes, actually, but not in the way that you're thinking. So now, uh, let me dive even further into this murky depth. If I were to ask you, is a person who is solid and unchanging more manipulable or less? And likewise, is someone who is liquid and changing with the tides less manipulable or more. Obvious is obvious, and the person who is always changing with the tides with no solidness to anything, that person is more manipulable in comparison to the solid person. And why does this matter? Because it seems like a weird tangent. Well, what we can do with the individual example is we can expand upon it to include a whole community. So now let me ask, is a community with no solid structures something that isn't manipulable or is more manipulable? It's called divide and conquer. Why face an entire group of people when I can divide that entire group into a singular thing? If men are seen as conservative and women are seen as liberal, then those are two strong structure points in a holistic community. And then, when you add in children into that whole structure example, then we get a three-point structure, which is a triangle, or the strongest shape. If I, as a white person, want to conquer something, uh, say, black community, for example, why would I want to fight something that is the strongest it can be, that being the structure of a family, just community-sized, when I could instead chip away at what makes the two main structure points strong, that being the men and women in that community. And see, they've tried to divide the white community just like they've tried with the black community, but they made a mistake when doing it, and I'll get to that. And who is the catalyst in this division within the black community? Joe Biden or even just the Liberal Party, but I believe that it is moreover Joe Biden. Not only because he is or was the leader, a little bit confusing, but because of one simple phrase that caused a massive amount of division. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Now, why do I believe that Joe Biden saying that is him being the catalyst in dividing the black community. Well, uh, let us phrase what he says to simplify it. Joe Biden essentially said, you're not black if you don't vote liberal. Why are you phrasing it? How does that matter? Well, it's a simple solution. That's why. 
And let me go over how that makes any sense before I go over how they tried this with the white community as well. Uh, so first and foremost, why does it matter that it is a simple solution? Well, Joe Biden specifically called out a grand mass of people by giving one characteristic. He called out specifically black people and said that if you don't vote for him, then you're not black. And moreover, if you don't vote liberal, then not only are you not black, but you're also against black people. It is a two for one combo in separation. It immediately gives credence to calling everyone who is conservative as a white person who is racist. And here is where they tried this with the white community. Uh, believe it or not, but they have tried to divide the white community before. And it was with the whole Christian white straight cis male thing that went around. And how can I confidently call this a liberal attack to try and divide? Well, why would the liberal party call out white women when white women are the people who already en masse agree with liberalism? So they only called out white men. But the problem is that when they tried dividing the white community to make us more manipulable, they gave too many characteristics in their act of dividing. Rather than just calling out uh, black people like they did with the black community, which is one characteristic, they called out white people as Christian, white, straight, cis, male, which is four characteristics. Why does the number of characteristics matter? Well, uh, for instance, if I were to say all white people suck, that includes a lot of people. But if I were to instead say all white, straight, Christian, five foot four and less than 50K making men suck, that statement has a lot less power because of all the characteristics that I attached to that specific person who supposedly sucks. Did I describe myself? Yes, and he sucks. But I bring this back to the whole community thing. The problem with the black community is how divided they all are. Like uh, how I started this. I can't confidently think of a black man and immediately think, oh, he's probably conservative. And I also can't do the reverse of that for women. Like I can with white people or with Asian people or any other group of people. Most Asian communities are heavily family orientated. But within the black community, you've either got fatherless homes or the house of come one, come all. There is little that defines anything in the black community anymore. And I blame liberalism. What? Conservatives have done just as bad things before. Yes, I agree. But that is not right now. And as things are right now, the Liberal Party is doing nothing but bad for the black community. List it then if you're so confident. Okay, um, uh, baby, uh, baby La La Land clinics statistically target black communities with the largest La La Land procedures. That divides the children portion in the black community trifecta. And through that, a lot of black men unfortunately just go and have unprotected coitus, and then some of the women don't want to send their child to La La Land, and so that then creates fatherless homes. And that is another portion of the black community trifecta. And then, finally, we've got the women portion of it where then the women become bitter towards the men of the black community, which is why you have the whole phenomena of black women hating when black men marry out of their race, but it is totally fine within the women if another woman marries out of their race. And then it just fuels the whole men are trash statement and then just fuels the liberal party even more. And there, that is how you get the destruction of the black community. Black babies are being sent to La La Land, and families become fatherless through a coitus liberated society, and then the women contribute by polling against black men as the same men that pumped and dumped them. And it all starts from the bottom. The children, which go figure what the liberal party targets. But hey, if you don't vote liberal, then you're one, not black, and two, against black people. 
it is the liberal party that is segregating the black community. And while there are a lot of things that would have to happen to reinstate the black community as the great community that it is, I believe that a good first step is vote conservative. And if you're not convinced by that first step in the right direction, then let me ask, what is next in the black community with liberals being at the helm? Another BLM that clearly worked against the black community? No. Just vote conservative. Because liberalism has caused all of these issues. And by voting conservative, we will all make a difference in making Canada and America great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join a conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.